I love this setup from Toulouse. So let's take a look. First of all, you've got 10, 12, and 13 with 11 at the back in a pretty traditional setup. But as the ball's in the air, watch how 12 advances forward to become first receiver. Then you've got 10 and 11 swap in position. And this adds an element of deception to the attack. And it's worth noting as well, DuPont's long pass to get the ball into the midfield where they can open up the defense. So when we look at the movement here, you can see the switch of position. 10 goes out the back. Then you've got 11 who's going to trail on the inside into that space. And you've also got 13 running a hard line. And importantly, when we play through, you've got all players in motion. And what this does, that makes the defense have to make a decision because there's multiple options that can be used here. So that outside defender there, he's worried about the ball out the back. So he's going to bite onto that player there. That's number 10, Untermak. So that means the space is just on that small inside trailing line to number 11, LaBelle, who absolutely races through. He finds the gap really well worked. And just look how he turns on the afterburners here to break through. Bit of a step and a great try. And if we just watch this from a rear angle, you can see that wide pass, how quickly this is done. No time for the defense to cover and a great try by Toulouse. 